I think today is a oh. day of killer abs. Let's start just on the mat with and have a squishy ball. That'd be great. So let's go ahead and start laying down. I apologize for the pain in the abs that I will be today, but I don't really apologize, only partly. <laughs> So here, just taking a breath in, ball between your knees, let your body just relax into the floor. It's always a good, good thing to relax into the floor for a minute and let yourself just settle, see where you end up settling. And then take a breath in and then exhale, sinking down to the floor. And one more breath in and exhale. And so here, you're gonna take a nice breath in, exhale, low belly connect, right? Just giving the right amount of contraction there just to feel like your muscles are turning on, pelvic floor lifting, you've got a little pressure on the ball, just hold that there. Relax the shoulders if you need to, to get the shoulders, arms out of it, you can take your arms to that cactus type position. Release on the inhale and exhale, belly sinking down. Now keep sinking that belly down enough that your pelvic floor is lifting and that you keep sinking in even more and then curling your tail upward. And then slowly rolling your way back downward. So really, it can't be a very big one. You're gonna exhale, belly sinking. Keep sinking that belly to allow the tail to curl slightly. So if I'm just really focused on the abs curling, I'm not gonna go as far as if I activate the glutes, which is just fine right now, focused on those abs doing the work. So exhaling, belly in, holding, squeezing, curling, rib cage dropping. Good, now hold that curl, hold the belly in and see if you can roll up through there, keeping the focus on your abs for right now. Right. Keep curling the tail, dropping the belly, rib cage down. And again, curling the tail, dropping the belly, rib cage down. And one more, curling. Little pressure on the ball, hollow. Great. And then we're going to reverse the way down, rib cage down, and tail unrolling all the way back down. Very nice. So one more time like that, a little faster now. Exhale, rolling up through, belly tight, glutes squeezing, press the hips open. This time, take your arms to the sky. Nice big breath in. You're gonna exhale, reach the arms overhead, hold and reach overhead. Rib cage drops down, tail curls upward, glutes squeeze. And then reverse, rolling back downward. Inhale. And exhale, hollowing, rolling up. Squeezing those glutes, bellies in, reaching those arms further away. Keep stretching them away as you roll down, rib cage down. And exhaling, hollowing, coming upward. And squeezing, reversing back downward. And exhaling, hollowing, rolling upward. Good squeezing, little pulses up. Two, three bellies really in, glutes squeezing. Keep that. Energy pressed in on that ball. Good. And reversing, rolling your way back downward. Arms come up to the sky. Let's bring the legs to tabletop. Holding here, nice tabletop. And you're going to inhale, bring the legs slightly in. Exhale, send them away and bring them back. So I like to keep my arms up out of the way just so I don't get tempted by pushing into the floor to make that motion bigger. It just really helps me. Make sure that, that I don't overload into my upper body. But you're welcome to rest the arms down, whatever, whatever they should be, in order to help you most. All right, out and in. And you want to go to that point where you're actually challenging yourself. So how far can you go without feeling your back move at all? How far can you take those legs? And then bring it back and out. Bring it back, out, bring it back, out, bring it back, and out, and bring it back. Great. Take your hands, interlace them behind your neck. Two choices here. One is just to squeeze and float the head without a, really a curl, just a little floating, lengthening the spine, 
the back of the neck, shoulder blades down, stretching away. Let's stay here for a moment and going out. Keep stretching the neck almost as if when your legs go out, your head gets longer. Again, challenging yourself. So don't stay too comfortable. But again, don't push so far that you can't keep stable. Out and in and out and in. Great. If you can take it one step further, stretch that neck. Let's find the upper ab curl, right? Holding there, legs static. Now a little pressure on that ball. Belly sinks. And then inhale your way back down. Exhale, rib cage connects, lowers down, chest lifts, and reversing back down. And exhaling upward. And reversing downward. And exhaling upward. Reversing downward. And exhaling upward. Good. Holding there. Now the legs out and in. 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 And out and in. Nice. Hold there. Take the ball between your ankles. And then you're going to come inward, a little squeeze in, and exhale, head down, legs extend. Coming in together, head down, legs extend. Now you can decide where to place those legs so that they're not, you're not over challenging yourself, but then you want to have some challenge. So if you have more strength, send the legs further out than up, and coming in, exhaling, sinking that belly, and back in. Find that limit, but don't overdo it, right? You want to make sure you're staying in control. The work is in the abs. And back in, out, and back in. Out, and back in. Out, and in, and out. Holding there, head comes up. Legs pulse up. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. See if you can hold that. Take a breath in. You're going to exhale. Squeeze that ball and try and lift your feet to the ceiling. Up and down. Don't let the legs come closer to you. You're just going straight up, toes straight up to the sky and down. You may not move anywhere. You're just going to deepen that ab. Imagine that your coccyx curling, that you're lifting up. And down. In fact, you could hold the legs and help them go up and down. Exhale, reach the sky. Belly sinks and down. And exhale, reach those legs up and down. Two more. Reach those legs up and down. Nice. Reach those legs up. Reach. Hold there. Hold, hold, hold. Take your hands behind your neck. Reach the head and neck up. See if you can lower down and lift just a little bit. Down, inhale up. Reach long down, inhale up. Reach long down, keep steady. Up and down and up. Nice job. And up one more time. Down. Oh, you can do one more, right? I lied. One more and up. Beautiful. Bend the knees. Take a moment and you can remove the ball. Very nice. So here, we'll move to single leg stretch. Your choices are head down or hands behind neck or hands on thigh, on knees. Your choice, whatever's right for your neck. You're going to take a breath in. Exhale. Press coming up. Send one leg out. Left hand on your inside knee, right hand at your right ankle. Bring that chest up. Leg out nice and strong body. Elbows wide. And switch. 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 And switch. Switch and switch, 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 switch and switch, 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 switch and switch and switch, switch, switch and switch. Hands go back behind the neck. You're going to rotate to that bent leg and rotate and rotate and switch.
and stay up there on the tips of those shoulder blades. Switch and switch nice and controlled. And switch and switch and switch, switch and switch, switch and switch, switch and switch, switch and switch and switch and switch. Bend it in. Take a moment down. Lovely. Hands back on both knees. We'll go to double leg stretch. Exhaling. Press your way up if you can. If you need the hands behind the neck or head down, that's okay too. You're going to keep your torso where it is. Exhale the legs out, arms out. Circle. Bring it in. If you can, little hip up and release. Out and in. Stretch. Reach. And in. Stretch. Reach. And in. Stretch out. And in. Stretch out. And in, stretch out, and in, reach it, and in, and reach, and in. Let's reach it out, hold it there, support your neck, just hold that reach. Good, pulsing up, and slowly down, up, control it back, bring the legs up, control them back, and up good hold there grab a hold of your right leg let that left leg hover down over the floor you can let it go all the way if you like holding on for a little bit of a hamstring stretch here try and really get that knee straight though right so we're not cheating ourselves out of straight legs and hamstring stretches and action through the feet get a nice straight knee up to the sky big breath in exhale and another breath in and exhale. Pulling that leg in. Great. And then go ahead and bring the other leg up to match. Hold on to that leg. Let the other one float down to the floor, hovering or landing, whichever you like better. Holding for this stretch here on this side. Big breath in and exhale. And a breath in, nice straight, strong leg. And exhale. And a breath in, and exhale, and a breath in, and exhale. Great. Bring the right leg back up so both legs are up. We're going to hold here for a moment. You can take your hands behind your neck. You're going to lower your left leg and bring it right back up, right leg, and bring it up, left leg, and bring it up, right leg and bring it up left and up right and 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 hold grab hold of the right leg the left leg goes down bring your chest up if you can Really lengthening through the back of your neck. Elbows nice and wide, strong, straight leg. And here we go. Switch, hold for a moment. Find that same connection, belly sinking, shoulders wide, head long. And here we go. Switch, pulse, switch, pulse, switch, pulse, switch, pulse, switch, pulse, switch, pulse, switch, pulse. Nice and controlled. Switch, pulse, switch, pulse. Switch pulse, switch pulse, switch pulse, switch pulse, switch pulse, switch pulse, and switch pulse. Bend your knees and roll your way back down. Very well done.